of the Empire State Building. C100. So I'm going to throw it back a little bit because I remember when you were a ghost for a little while. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and then um, you were definitely rocking out in the classroom where you should have been uh, focusing on schoolwork. But uh, now it's all about this Netflix movie that Brianna oh, yeah. has got going on. Malibu Rescue is coming to us, right? Yep. And how excited are you about just your growth from um, the the life you live and you lived uh, as just blowing us away uh, on Nickelodeon to, you know, venturing into music now. and Yeah. And the Netflix stuff and just growing your craft. How's it feel, yeah. dude? Oh, it's incredible. I think uh, I'm really fortunate that I've been able to gain such a wide perspective in, you know, the time that I've been on Nickelodeon and then yeah. now Netflix and moving into music and being able to write and create freely and uh, just kind of figure out who I am. Yes. Um. So, you know, it's just great. It's got to be great. the funnest thing ever, right? Yeah. yeah, no, it's amazing. I mean, everybody has those down days and it's, you know, it can you can get low, but it's like it's tough. you're living your dream. For and that's, sure. That's the main thing. Well, uh, I'm going to let you live out. I don't, I'm just forcing this dream onto her tonight. Uh, you're <laughs> going to be taking over Z100 with me for the hour. Is it a dream to be uh, uh, a radio DJ? I don't oh, know. What a dream. Kind I'm a radio order? DJ now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the next like hour or so, I'm going to have you hang out with me in studio. Uh, we're going to pick songs from your personal playlist. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let you just kind of uh, free reign. Just oh, All I got to say is just don't be, and I've said this before with other artists who have stepped into uh, this position, don't be too good because I still want to keep my job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know you're I know you're a jack of all trades. You're pretty awesome at a lot of stuff. Just be like a little less awesome at this so I can come back to work. I don't know if I can do that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Come on now. Uh right here on Z100 all hour long we're hanging out with the amazing Brianna Yeedy. Brianna Yeedy is taking over Z100 round of applause hey. in studio, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um Netflix Malibu Rescue. Yeah. Uh tell me a little bit about how this project uh came about. Do you, you know, audition for the role, you nail it and all of a sudden you're you're you know uh, on a beach in Malibu filming <laughs> getting the tan yeah that's it basically <laughs> <laughs> no um so we just wrapped school of rock yeah uh th- about like three months afterwards I was doing some stuff for like Super Bowl and I was in I want to say Houston yeah uh I was flying back and forth a couple of, like Chicago Houston all over the place um and I come back get this audition I was like this looks great I noticed that the line producer, one of the executive producers, and the director had all worked on a Nickelodeon movie. Oh that I had my done gosh! Like two years okay. Ago. Yeah. All right. Uh, four years ago, and you know, immediately I was like, okay, we got. Uh, did you feel that little bit of confidence? Yeah, I think I got this. I think I got this. I think I got this. Tell me about the story. Let us know about the uh, the storyline for uh, for this this Netflix flick. I guess yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, so basically, it's about a group of kids who are. Uh, I guess you could say enrolling in a junior rescue lifeguard program yep. at Malibu Beach. And the whole storyline basically just follows uh, my character and the other really close characters who are uh, the kids from the valley who are quite naive going into it. Gotcha. So yep. everybody was super excited. They're like, yeah, we're going to Malibu. Yeah, we're going to kick it to the beach. Yeah, we're yeah. chill. And turns out everybody hates him. Everybody's <laughs> oh, no. like, you guys suck, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So the movie basically follows their journey going into the Crucible, which is basically how you become a junior lifeguard. For sure. Um, and then we've also got the show coming out. June 3rd, which basically follows the Dude, crucible. that is so rad. Yeah. I didn't know that there was like a, yeah. a follow-up to it. To be able to uh, to hit the beach, to challenge yourself as an actor, to just grow into another role, yeah. um, and to see it be something that's progressing. How fulfilling is that as an actress? Uh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, when you're indulging in a role, uh, it's interesting because I find that little things you can really compare to your life and Got you it. can relate and use that inspiration from your life to really drive this character and For drive sure. that passion. And so just being able to allow the character to evolve from my experiences and then allow them to come together as one, uh, it was really interesting. And, you know, I was really excited talking before talking to the producers before the show shot and just talking about character development and how oh, this cool. could correlate with other people around the world. 
Dude, that's dope to be able to have that kind of input, you yeah. know, and to really be able to, um, yeah, to, to take ownership of this role and really yeah. uh, find that connection uh, to make it even that much more inspiring, realistic. Yeah. And uh, it, it comes across on the screen. I yeah. mean, when you can really believe and feel that you have that certain level of like, yeah, I, I know who this young woman is because she's so much like me. Yeah. And my whole thing with, you know, creating art and music and acting is that you want it to relate with people and yeah. you want it to inspire people to do whatever you want them to do to yeah. make change or uh, be inspired by so-and-so. For uh, sure. You know, it. I watched it my entire... I, I'm still watching it with people that I love. Lady Gaga. Like, yeah, for sure. We talked about yeah, that a second like, ago. I love Gaga and just seeing how struggles that she's gone through or the music she's creating, how that plays into my life and how that affects my day and just allowing art to for you to just indulge in art and be able to allow that to change your mood. Is so like, we're, we're so here, powerful. Brianna, for you to uh, to pick from your personal playlist and play some of those songs that make you feel, make you move, make you, I don't know, turn up every once in a while. And you mentioned how huge an inspiration Lady Gaga. Can I, like, assume that you're going to ask me to play some Lady Gaga oh, here? Yeah. yeah? What's your favorite Gaga song? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh gosh. Damn. Okay, right, Ayo. Yeah, we're going to say, there's way too many. Yeah, there's a lot. We're going to say Ayo. Okay. Joanne. Okay, yes. Great album. <laughs> Great album. The best. Insane. Okay, so uh, you want me to play some Gaga for you? Yeah. You down? Yeah, all I'm right. so down. Ladies and gentlemen, um, she's here all hour long taking over our iHeartRadio 9 at 9. Brianna Yeedy loves some Lady Gaga. We're going to play some Lady Gaga. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, we talk music. We're going to talk more music, Brianna, yeah. and I want to talk your music. Because Ooh. for quite some time, you have have been picking up the guitar. You have been strumming <laughs> yeah. it for a little bit and giving us like these minute teasers on Instagram yep. for the millions of fans that you have. <laughs> and we're just like, ah. but uh, where does that musical inspiration from you come from? When did you know that you wanted to pick up, uh, you know, a, a, an instrument? Um, and and I'm assuming it was the guitar, the ukulele. It was. It you was know, the piano. It was the piano. Yeah. So what was it about the piano that you were like, I I have this connection? Well. I always say this. Every meeting, every session, whenever I'm meeting somebody new, I always say it all started December 19th, 2009. Okay. I was six. All right. <laughs> um, I was my first concert. It was Gaga. Oh, wow. Of course. Of course it was. Of course it was Gaga. And just seeing, being uh, welcomed almost in an arena, like that feeling of being welcomed into an arena yeah. is Insane because there's seventeen thousand people sitting around you, For but sure. yet you specifically feel so welcomed in that huge place by this one specific person. With you explaining that, that is sending goosebumps down my spine. Hearing you, know, you say that, I yeah. never thought about it like that. And so for me, at, at six, to be able to feel that, I, obviously, I wasn't able to articulate it exactly. Understand, but. For somebody to be able to shift your emotion or to shift the way you feel through music and art and entertainment and performing yeah, is so uh. powerful. And that was really what inspired me. And I'm, I'm really grateful that Gaga was my first concert because she is so outrageous yeah. and so <laughs> insane. But every little thing has a meaning. For sure, the it meat does. dress had a meaning. The Kermit dress had a meaning. Yeah, everything has. Having spoken to her several times, it's yeah. it's very. She's very brilliant. She's very yeah. intelligent in why she does these things. Yeah, and so everything has a purpose, and so that that to be able to create freely with a purpose. Yeah. Is oh. huge for me. Good Lord, you are you're like hella smart at your young age, Brianna. <laughs> Let me just tell you that much. Um, man, you're just giving me goosebumps thinking about that. So, um, how does that lead into your music, and you know, and, and where do you draw your stories from and write from, and yeah. what are those experiences like for you? Uh, well, at the moment, you know, I'm only 15, so I haven't really been in you know a proper oh, yeah. relationship or like dated anybody, and that's the. Almost everybody kind of considers it the basis, the foundation of music. But my, you know, I don't post every day on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not posting five times a day in my story. I'm not going live once a week. Yeah. I don't care about the highest level of engagement I can get. Our society at the moment is built upon the image. For sure. And what you look like and how you're seen. And I just think everybody in this world has so much more to offer 
than just our image. Yes. And so that's really what I've been writing about is just like a big old middle finger up to society and how we're living our lives. But what is so cool about that is that it is so true. It is so honest. It is so who you are. Yeah. And getting to have this proper conversation with you and learn that that's where your heart is, that's why so many people are excited to be there to listen to your words. Yeah. To be there to share that story with you is because it's who you are and you're um, you're very you're brave and forthcoming with sharing those words. And that's all we're looking for in music nowadays is yeah. that honesty. Yeah. Is that just true honesty? And damn it, you are good on the guitar. Like that, that's <laughs> another reason why. Good graciousness. All right. Uh, let's get into some more music that you love. Uh, Brianna, what is it that's on your playlist so I can uh, go ahead and blast it to the world on Z100? Oh, snap. Uh, let's do a little throwback. Okay. Let's do some Whitney Houston. Some Whitney. Oh, okay. Let's do some Whitney. I'm all right with that. Yeah. Which Whitney really gets you up and going? Oh, uh, I think uh, we just listened to this about 10 minutes ago. Okay. Getting uh, hyped for this. <laughs> let's do some How Will I Know. How Will I Know? Nothing. You really oh, the late, great oh, Whitney right here because it's on Bria. Is it Bria or Bree? What do your friends call you? Uh, I usually go by Bree. All right. So can I call you Brie now, yeah, friends? Of course. It's on Bree's playlist right here, and it's on Z100. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm in the studio with Brie now that we are best <laughs> friends. Let me go ahead and put that there. Um, acting. Uh, wait, aren't you pretty freaking right at golf? Also, <laughs> that's just brag about it a little bit. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, I guess you could okay. say that. Sometimes um, I've we've known a couple of mutual friends through our Nickelodeon and our Nick Radio. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that you don't mind climbing really high bridges back home, and you know, what I mean, you're like you're not afraid of heights. What is it that that fuels all these different passions? Because there's so many for you. Uh, honestly, I just love adventure. Yeah, I love the unknown. Okay. I love diving into something that I have no clue how it's going to turn out. What are, what are you uh, most excited to do that you haven't yet? I mean, have you bungee jumped out uh, of a I helicopter? I want to skydive. Skydive. Last yeah, we went for New Year's. We went to Queensland uh -huh. or no Queenstown. Okay. Um, in New Zealand, and you're allowed to skydive at 13. And I was that so just doesn't hyped. seem that that seems so scary it to me. It seems fine. The 13 years old, yo. When <laughs> I was 13, I was trying to learn how to bunny hop on my bicycle, let alone jump out of a freaking airplane. But that's what is, skydiving is next yeah, for you, huh? That's not, skydiving, bungee jumping, mom sitting in the corner, yeah. like yeah, hell no, you're <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. That's what I was. But adventure is your middle name, yeah. huh? Oh yeah, and I just I love the thrill. I love the. The your heart beating and the you your hands sweating yeah. and oh, the nerves. That, like you said, mom is in the corner. If you want to pan over my shoulder, and she's like, nah, nah, so, uh, uh, yeah. She's like, nope, 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 no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, when do you find the time with the crazy busy schedule that you have to just be you, to you know, hang with family and friends, and to go on these awesome adventures and to do the stuff that really is a, a, a core, you know, a characteristic of of you. Uh, honestly, that is really huge for me, is yeah. getting to spend time being grounded and doing what I love. You know, in February, no, January, uh, we went skiing in Colorado. Sweet. And I've always wanted to snowboard because it's like one of my Yeah, awesome yeah, there's way more Obviously. badass if you yeah. Can, yeah, snowboard. <laughs> um, and so I was like, I'm going to go snowboarding. So I, I like hop in a let, I've skied since I was three. So I'm like, okay. you know, I've done it, been there, done Got that. It. So I was like, I need to try something new. Of course, in the lesson, I'm on my toes. This lady, I'm goofy, so I'm like on my toes. This lady crashes right in front of me. And I was like, oh, sh I yeah. need to like get out. So I tried to turn out, but then and I caught my heel edge, broke done. my wrist. Ah, uh, yeah. And the yeah. mom was like, yeah, see, yeah, that's she's why. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> she, I told you. <laughs> yeah. Mom knows best. I'm Look, just like, <laughs> I'm, but I went back two months later or a month Nailed later. It. I'm fine. I can snowboard. Now. You're here. I'm here. Uh, yeah, Move she's then legitimately doing her very best at taking my job. I should have known before inviting <laughs> you in here. Good gracious! All right, uh, music. That's your thing tonight. So, uh, what else is on that playlist, Boo? What you got? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's go into the the top like fifties here. Okay. Uh, let's play. What's Sean's new song? Let's oh, Sean if Mendes. I can't have you, yeah. Sean Mendes. Oh Love it. my! <laughs> Sonically, it's so cool. Can it's I tell so you? Cool. Isn't that so? I feel like it's gonna be the song of the summer. I'm just gonna put it oh, out yeah. there for now. Yeah. Uh, Sean is killing it. Oh, you know, you just made a whole lot of people happy requesting this song <laughs> right here. Brianna Yidi is taking over our iHeartRadio nine at nine, and this is the new one from Sean Mendes. If I can't have you, awesome pick, dude.
So Brianna Yeedy, she's done it all. I mean, she's crushed it on Nick where, I, I like I said, man, I remember you were a freaking ghost on the Haunted Hathaways <laughs> running around with you and, and Lil Peanut, man, at some of these oh, parties. Peanut. I can Shout out to Benjamin, man. I miss Benji. Yeah, Benji's like the coolest little kid. He's For those of you that so, don't know Benji, up. please follow this guy on Instagram. The Real Peanut. The Real Peanut. Watch Game Shakers. That's my guy. Um, but but now to watch your career shine and as you continue to grow uh, into... Uh, um, just some more developed characters. And you really get to yeah. challenge, um, you know, your musical spirit. All the stuff that we've been talking about for this yeah. past time here. Um, how, how exciting is it to be you? I know it's like a loaded question, <laughs> but, you know, but I mean, how exciting is it to really just kind of grow in the industry and to be so true to who you are? Yeah. Um, you know, I say this every day and I say this in every meeting, everywhere I go. I'm really fortunate that I, I got to find out what I wanted to do when I was six. Yes. Because, you know, I, I've got a brother in college right now, and it's just kind of up in the air. Mm -hmm. And that, like, terrifies me. I'm like, I, I do not want to be in college know not knowing do. what I don't want. Yeah. Like, Can I be honest with you? My only other job that I had, aside from radio, and when I was lucky enough to find my, my calling, my passion, I was freaking Chuck E. Cheese, dude. Dude, like that's Chuck all. E. I, that's, it, although Chuck E. Cheese kind of slaps, that, you know what I'm saying. That, my time slap. there was dope, you know. <laughs> but nonetheless, I know what you're saying in the sense that for you to find, um, you know, your your true passion at such a young age, it's yeah. it's got to be the yeah. most fulfilling yeah. feeling ever. Hundred percent. And you know, seeing people around me who are just like lost and yeah. like they're like, I don't know, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. I just feel for that. Yeah. I, I like. Oh, that would frustrate me so much. Scary. Yeah. One of the, yeah, one of the scariest it's things ever. Yeah. Um, being a young woman in the industry and looking at other young women who are just killing the game right now. We were talking off mic a bit about someone who you just got the chance to see in Sydney. Yeah. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Got to see a play. The, what was film. that like from your perspective, your perspective in the crowd? Because I've seen it from what she's posted on social media yeah. and the fact that she's just mind blown from her viewpoint. Yeah. When you are watching another strong young woman just do her thing, what's yeah. that like for you? I mean, it's insane. There's so much energy, so much meaning and mm -hmm. passion and you can see that fire inside her yeah. when she's on stage. It's she's she's incredible. I think she's got so much to say and you know, I think she's kind of pointed out once again to me and many young artists that you can say you can do whatever you want with me. Yes. There's no rules. There's no restrictions. You yeah. have the freedom to create whatever you want. And, and that's, that's so uh, powerful. That is so powerful, especially in a time now where um, you're able to connect with fans. Like, you've got people that are um, loving what you do on the screen and your music that are in countries and continents yeah. that, like, mind blowing. I mean, being from Australia, you know, finding, uh, you know, the fan base here in the States and then yeah. knowing that you could be in uh, at, a, at an event in Malaysia yeah. and people are freaking 100%. out. That's got to be like... How do you make that real, or do you? Or you just, like, live in the moment and just think and be so appreciative of it? You know, that's that's the craziest thing about social media is everything is so hands-on. Yeah. And, you know, I've been on social media since I was, like, nine. Mm -hmm. So it's become one of those things where, not that I try to avoid it, but the the mental awareness that goes into, that it. Goes into it of yeah. being, like, Okay, there's 1.6 million people that see yeah. this post. The responsibility's got to be pretty heavy yeah. at times. Yeah. yeah, and I think that it's frustrating because I've got a lot of people around me that are like, no, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't say this. You should say that. And it's like... Sometimes you just want to be You just want to say what you want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's where I think music and art is really powerful because that is the platform where you get to do that. And it's... You know, it's frustrating for me at times because I, I don't like social media that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. But for me to actually have a platform that's not just about like, oh my God, I'm in this new off-white yeah, jacket yeah. and I'm wearing <laughs> yeah. my Gucci shoes. It, it, totally, <laughs> totally. You have a place where you can express yourself through yeah. music, through that art. You can make that connectivity and yeah. the fans can come to you and know that that's what they're going to get. And, and again, it goes back to what we were saying a little bit ago. It's that you have a really, really strong awareness of who you are. And that is so, so dope, dude. Yeah. 
So mm-hmm. let me just, I just want to let you know that. Well, we were uh, tap dancing around it a bit, but I'm, I'm figuring that um, that we need to throw some Billie Eilish up oh, in yeah, here, right? Sure. Um, again, I got to ask you, like, her album is so good, but I yeah. mean, if you had to choose one that you want to listen to, I mean, you got Bad Guy out there. You got, um, gosh, dude. Zanny. Oh, no, oh, look at you ball. going deep with this album. Wow. <laughs> How many times have you listened to the album on repeat? Uh, probably at least five. Oh. It's like my plain right. go-to. Gotcha. But I'm like bad guys on repeat always because it's just, yeah, it's, you it's just a go bar. hard. Boom, boom. Yeah, like, dude. Boom, I- boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay. All right. It's just like so good. <laughs> well, let's do it. You want to? Yeah. yeah. Here's Billie Eilish straight from Brianna Yeedy's playlist on our iHeartRadio 9 at 9 with Bad Guy. Brianna Yeedy in studio. You know, one thing, let me make sure I do this because, and I probably have been, I want to make sure that I haven't been butchering it the whole time. Do you get fans <laughs> that call you Brianna, Brianna, Brie, Brie, like all these things? Like, y- Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, well, because my Instagram and all my socials are Brianna. Yeah. And that, like, that's so weird for me. It's so strange. Nobody calls me Brianna. No, no. Unless nobody. you're in Australia and everybody's like, hey there, Brianna. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, I'm used to that more than I'm used to Brianna. Yeah, okay. Like, it's so, it's bizarre. <laughs> I don't get so, it. so weird. Yeah. Um, we're going to throw some rapid fire questions your way just oh, so snap. that way uh, everyone can get to know who doesn't already. The little things that, that make you tick. All right. Oh, snap. Uh, last person you texted. Uh, I think my manager, Margo. Okay. Yeah. All right. Talking about music. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you said that you wanted to skydive. What was the most exciting adventure thing that you did? Um, you know what? I think as far as like... Proper thrill. I don't yeah. think I've done that much. Oh, dude! dude I think I'm, like Six Flags is like the most thrilling uh, thing I've listen, done. But don't don't sleep on Six Flags though, man. Yo, yeah, those roller coasters mm, are popping, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Full throttle. laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Favorite meal of the day: breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, uh, uh dinner. Okay. Because um, I eat it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Nickelodeon, <laughs> <laughs> to Nickelodeon days. Did you guys keep stuff in the desks on School of Rock? Yes. Really? Always food. Oh, me. I always had food. Yeah. Oh, okay. Always. Oh, just... It got bad. Sometimes we'd leave like salami in the th- <laughs> and, and people would be like, what is that horrendous smell? And You're it was like, like uh, eight week old salami. It's me. I forgot my sandwich was in there. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> All right. Lastly, here's one question that I get a lot. And maybe you can help me explain this for the millions of people who always want to know. Can you properly describe the consistency of Nickelodeon slime? Because I can't, dude. Everybody, I'd say it's like getting sneezed on by a dinosaur. Oh, God. <laughs> <I mean>, That's <laughs> terrifying. That sounds like... But it shit. is, right? I mean, having been slimed a handful of times in your lifetime yeah. as well, how can we describe that? It's, hmm, I would say dinosaur snot's a pretty good one. That's like, <laughs> that's pretty solid, not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's... Um, like a seven hundred foot tall man. Okay. Just ate Jello. All right. And then he met <laughs> marshmallow. Like you know the marshmallow. Uh, the, the fluff. The fluff, yeah. not the actual marshmallow, yeah, but like but... the pre-marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. He spit that into a jar, put it in a blender, <laughs> blended it, drank it again, and then. Spat it out on you. And you're talking about my dinosaur <laughs> sneeze was bad. Come on, dude. Not at all. <laughs> uh, before we get you out of here, lastly, how how excited are you about Malibu Rescue and what's still to come in 2019 for oh, you? Oh, I'm so excited. 2019 has been probably one of the most productive years so far as Sick. far as internally. Yeah. Um, Everybody outside is like, you're not, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, don't trip. Uh, yeah. So uh, I've just, I've been having a ball doing music and figuring out what's next and I'm I'm super hyped for Melody Rescue. I think we just had such a great time shooting it yeah. and yeah, it was it was a great time. Well, uh you you've got uh I'm, I'm a Netflix subscriber. Oh snap. Um, yep, yeah, I'm paying the uh, I'm paying the bill for five other people as well. Oh. <laughs> Y'all know who you are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, though. Um, (laughs) I'm going to tell you what. Just being, um, just watching your progression has been super rad. You know, from the sideline, um, knowing that we know, you know, within this small little little Nickelodeon world, uh, a lot (laughs) of the same people. And we all have said, like, man, Bree is totally killing the game, dude. And I just really excited for 
the music. That's most important is, is that you, I, you have so much to share. And I'm so excited uh, that you're going to get the chance to do that. And uh, aside from the amazing acting and the stuff that you do on screen, the, the music and your chance to share who you are through song is going to be one of the best things to watch continue to grow. So Thank you. keep Thank doing you. you, boo. Oh, you already know. Hot damn. Uh, Don't stop till you is. drop. Woo. <laughs> Thank you for taking over Z100 with me tonight. From the top of the Empire State Building. Z100.